Hey, but let's let's let let's transition here because it's gonna be our pot. I promise. You. <laughs> it's gonna be our pot. You know, Chris didn't have to slap Will back. <laughs> didn't have to slap Will back. He didn't have to slap him back because Hollywood did. Mm, yeah. So. Yeah. So it seems like Hollywood didn't take too kindly to Will making a mockery of their night because the Oscars is the night of the night for Hollywood. And unfortunately for somebody like Will who decided to make an ass of himself, he, he fucked up his money. Like he fucked up his money because again, he's somebody who wants to be in the mainstream. He wants to deal with the big, with the big movie houses, big production studios. He has to play by their rules. And unfortunately, because of his actions, because of the way the Academy received it, he um, has now stepped down from the Academy. He's no longer a member. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think that was his choice. I think that was theirs. Mm -hmm. And then he, um, his movie, Bad Boys 4, was put on hold. Nobody. I, nobody. I didn't even know that it was... <laughs> I didn't know it was a thing. I didn't know it was a thing, but you know what? I hope they put it on hold and eventually, like, they hang up. Because don't nobody want to like see this. Friday. It, bruh, it's It's too late. It's too late. Godfather Bat tried, and even Godfather, their last one was shit. Hey, but the thing is, I think you get to do one, one extra one because you're going to, like, people are going to go see it, and it's going to suck, but you're going to get the money. But, like, the extra extra is when you've gone too far. Like Bad Boys 1, classic. Bad Boys 2, classic. Ooh, uh -huh. Bad Boys 3, Martin looked like Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Bad Boys 4, are we even, is this Will Smith and Martin Lawrence? Are we going to put like some? They're, they're going to be grandpas in this. And they're going to try to come back. Just like Sylvester Stallone, but they're like slow and old and they're doing no stunts. But anyways, yeah. uh, Fast and Loose. Fast and Loose is uh, his Netflix movie that Netflix is now not picking up. So here's what happens when you act up in company's house, right? When you act up in front of company, when you go to somebody's house and you want to fuck their house up, they kick you out. Is Will Smith talented enough to continue acting in high budget movies? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> but has Will Smith shook too many feathers of those who matter within the lane that he wants to operate in? Hey. Yep. Hey, for all the people who, who are all about like, hey, you should be able to do what you want when you want and people have to adjust. Yeah, when you own your narrative, when you own your means of income. Somebody who's an independent artist can say a lot of stuff that artists at major labels can't say, can make music that uh, artists at major labels can't make. Why? Because everything they put out goes into their pocket, right? But when you are playing, when you are playing on somebody else's team, when you don't own that team, you have to abide by their rules. When the NBA and the state of New York and, and, and specifically New York City says, hey, Kyrie Irving, you need to get vaccinated to play home games here in Brooklyn, right? Kyrie can say, well, here's what I stand on. And the league says, hey, this is what we stand on. So uh, for you to play in our league, for you to play in our city, the city of New York goes, you, you got to stand on what we stand on. You can't stand on your own morals. Your morals have to align with ours for you to play ball with us. So when Will Smith, right? When he decides to go up there and be an ignorant ass nigga and slap somebody on fucking national TV and think that shit is cool, the people who think that shit is weird, the people who say, oh, this is not acceptable behavior at our academy, yeah, that's what happens. You got to leave the academy. We no longer have an amazing black voice who has been a voice of black culture since the fucking 80s. Uh, on one of the most important academies, one of the most important boards in this damn country for those who operate in that sphere. Right. Now, if you want to go be rogue, you want to go be independent, then you then you can go do that and you no longer need the support of the academy, the support of Netflix, the support of any of the studios 
who don't align with you. But what I tell you is, the same person who came up to you after you you slapped Chris Rock and was like, "Hello, Medea, aka Tyler Perry," you might want to go talk to him and see if he'll greenlight some of your stuff because it this is the ripple effect of acting up. And I'm not saying that the response to this is the right response. It's not. It wouldn't be my response. But for those who don't align with that shit, bro, you're going to be essentially canceled. Which the Academy doesn't align with it. And they have the right to say, fuck you. We don't want to do business with you. And that's why he resigned. <laughs> but more importantly, with Netflix dropping the movie mm -hmm. and then Bad Boys 4 like, being on hold, mm -hmm. which again, Bad Boys 4 should be on hold. Should, it should not even should never happen. Right. Phone call should have never happened. Mm -hmm. He's now put himself in a spot where, dog, you're not gonna get work like you used to. Oh no, oh no, and it sucks because it's like you know the Fresh Prince thing, the Bel Air, right yeah. on, on. That's on Peacock, and he's just he's just an executive producer, so he's not showing his face. No, but it's still like especially when it comes to us who are older, we like remember Will Smith and we're like thinking about him and we Google him and we do all these other things to like remember the act the original, right? Mm -hmm. So it does affect him because there are some people who are not like us who will be like, well, fuck that shit. Like that's how he portrayed himself now. And even though this is not necessarily him, it's still like a aside to him i think it's him and some people no no no. i'm talking about like the bel air show itself oh okay 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 yeah so there are some people that not us there are some people out there that will literally be like cancel you know this cancel culture thing well they're like okay well this is because of him so they're not gonna watch this shit anymore you're right and for those people i'll say grow up I'll that's say, like a, a a major percentage of of the people that we deal with nowadays, unfortunately. I, I don't think it's as major as the internet makes it seem. Mm. I think there are a lot of people. Think about this. Mm. Who has your mom or dad canceled? No one ever. How <laughs> much of the stuff that goes on that we consume are your parents even aware of, even if they watch these people's movies and shows? Not at all. Nothing. Exactly. <laughs> There's more people over the age of 40 than there is under that spend money. Yeah. <laughs> that matter. You don't understand True. what I'm saying? So as much as what we consume on the internet is just cancel, this cancel that. Mm -hmm. There is an older there are older people who could give a fuck less because for one, they could look at the behavior and identify with it, or they just aren't aware of exactly. it. Exactly. I want to say most of the most of the time they're not aware of it. <laughs> and and, and I love it. No, I do. And mm. I think the one thing, and like we're gonna we're gonna pivot in a second to get off of Will Smith. 